everybody and welcome to the river cameras here on the Mara River in Kenya. Quite close to where Taylor is, although I am nowhere near to where she is at the moment. These are remotely controlled cameras that are located on the banks of this river. And that means that we can watch these animals doing things that we wouldn't be able to normally see if we were sitting there. Now, these are some hippos' heads that are just sticking out of the water. And hippos come out at night time to eat grass. And we have some hippos that are outside eating some grass. Could we go to main north camera, please, Jerry? Jerry is the director of the show, and she can change to the picture. There we go. That is main north camera. And you can see that that's what a hippo looks like. These are young hippos. They're not very old. And they are eating grass using their lips to pull the grass up. If you have a look at a cow, the next time you can see a cow in the neighborhood where you live or possibly on a farm close by, you'll notice that they use their tongue and their teeth to pick grass. Hippos use their lips. Now what I want you to do is make your lips into a hard line. So everybody just make your lip into a hard line, a hard flat line. Makes you look very silly, doesn't it? Now imagine being able to pick something using your hard lips on the ground. Try and pick up your pencil or your pen on your desk using your lips. That is how a hippo picks up grass. Simeon, you want, to, you want to know where in Africa we're filming from. Simeon, we're in Kenya, which is up on the equator, halfway up Africa, on the eastern side of Africa. In other words, if you're looking at an African map, on the right-hand side of the map, about halfway up, you'll find a, a, a relatively block-shaped country called Kenya. If you put your finger in the middle of Kenya and you pull your finger to the bottom left-hand corner, that is where we are. We're on the Mara River, right close to Lake Victoria and Tanzania. We're just in the bottom left-hand corner of Kenya. And that is where we're busy watching these hippo. This is the Mara River, this fast flowing stream, and we're looking at hippos on the banks of the Mara River right now. Now, Ransom, you wanted to know why hippos are so dangerous, and the answer to that question lies in this picture. Hippos are dangerous for two reasons, mainly because of people trying to feed themselves. People in Africa grow their foods on the banks of rivers because it's easy to get water to their crops. Rivers also carry very nutritious sediment, sand, to feed their vegetable gardens. And people get fish from rivers and water from rivers. And basically, that means that people and crocodile or and hippos are in constant contact with one another. And hippos are dangerous. But something else that's dangerous is a crocodile, and we've got some crocodiles eating something at cul-de-sac crossing. So let's go there quickly and go and see a crocodile feeding frenzy at cul-de-sac crossing. There we go. That is a group of gigantic crocodiles. A couple of hundred, maybe even a couple of thousand pound animals that are busy eating something in the river. Those flashes of white that you can see are the crocodile's teeth. What's happening over here? Yeah, these crocodiles are fighting for food. And you see that? So something has died or they've caught something in the river and now all these crocodiles are coming to eat it together. And if we're very, very lucky, we might even get to see crocodiles spinning. There we go. It's crocodiles spinning. They can't chew their food. They have to rip pieces of the food off by spinning. And they are spinning at the moment in circles. But then, there we go. Oh, there's some huge big meat going in there. Wow. It is something big that these crocodiles are eating. I don't know what it is yet. It's difficult to see. Let's see if they make another spin. Might be a wildebeest. Might be a zebra. I can see. Oh, there's another crocodile spinning. There we go. Isn't that just amazing? So very similar to sharks in that aspect. Is they can't chew off pieces of meat, and so they spin off pieces of meat. I still can't see what they've managed to catch. 
All right. What we're going to be doing is sending you three and a half thousand miles south to South Africa, where my friend Tristan is sitting with a beautiful cat.